Hello everyone, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's continue our complete beginner's guide to Kenshi, shall we? We're working on making money so that we can keep hiring people to expand our base and make it more viable. We've got our two permanent copper miners getting this cash, raising their own laboring, and we have our team over here at the base that basically gets wiped out from time to time and uh Soto's gonna wake up and get knocked out while these people are searching us we have this group of dust bandits that's roving through this area unfortunately now if I look at Soto Soto has no food so they should just sift through and and keep passing on now let's see um, Rucka has a little food in the old backpack. I didn't take that. No food there. And, uh, on Kang. And where's my other... Where's Atto? Down and out over here with no food. So we're going to need to get Tutorial Dude to make a food trip. And that's fine. We have a little bit of food. We're working on bandanas. Let me just check us out. Look at this. Almost to that 40 armor smith, which is sick. And let's just go down stairs, check our chest. We have some copper. So I am going to turn off Tutorial Dude's jobs, pick up all this copper. These, um, you know what? I'm going to take, um, all of this as well, all of these cactuses. Because I believe we researched cactus farming. Yeah, we can do desert cooking. That'll help us later. But right now, all we need to have is um, cactus farming done, which we do. Uh, let's go ahead and show them the gear. Let me go back over here. And yeah, this is good. So we're going to go um, over here. And let's build some cactus farms on our base as well to start maybe trying to get some food. So I'm going to take Tutorial Dude over here. And we'll just kind of interact with this. And um, all of these we can pick up. You need a bunch of cactus to make the farm. And since we're done researching cactus farming, we don't need any more cactuses in here. Okay, this looks pretty good. Do we have anything else that's just building materials, which we have a ton of? We might want some uh, electrical components at some point, but let's go ahead. This is really the main thing we want, uh, which is to just take, you know, uh, a good bit of food over there. Now, these meat wraps, remember we talked about this before, but you see they provide 50 nutrition units um, compared to the 15 here. So these are worth a ton. This is almost like a full day, plus I have nine dried meat. So we can go take this over and those people will be satiated nicely and i'm going to go over here i'm going to speed it up so that we can actually move and let's talk to this guy and show me what you got pause the game sell all of our copper tremendous these backpack uh, do i want uh, splint kits might be useful uh for really really bad injuries so i'm gonna actually buy one just to take over to the uh the camp and then do you have any other medical supplies i think i'd be okay with um an advanced kit being over there on somebody it should last forever good and let's go buy food all right and let me talk to you you got any food you do. I'm going to buy, uh, well, I'll buy all of these. And this is a lot of money to spend, but we got to feed everybody. So now we'll just go like this. You can see Soto and Atto and Rucka are back up. So we're getting there. I'm just going to have Tutorial Dude kind of make his way over here. And then in the meantime, let me check out what's going on here with everybody. So Rucka is uh, using 
uh, medic. Everybody does have medic, right? Actually, you know what? Um, Kang didn't, but I'll give it to Soto does. And then... I'm going to give Soto the job of operating the refinery underneath operating iron resource. That way, if we do fill up on iron, unlikely, um, Soto then won't have another job to do. Unpause it. And Atto is uh, standing still, I guess receiving treatment, and operating stone mine. Okay. The stone's not full, right? Yeah, go for it. Sometimes you have to kind of mess with them. There they go. Maybe he had to stand still for a moment to receive treatment. I don't know. Tutorial dude is coming up. Alright. And here we go. Pause the game. So... I'm going to go find some people that have backpacks like Rook are here. Doesn't somebody else up here have a backpack? Kang does, but Kang is down and out. Can you... Um, nobody needs treatment, though. So, tutorial, dude. Here's what we're going to do. Um, first of all, I'm going to go into the, uh, iron plates and knock that in there. Then let's do some building. So we're going to go ahead and build, um, storage. We're going to build a food storage. We'll see how frequently this gets robbed, if at all, but I'm going to build it right there. Then we also want to go ahead and try to go to farming and build like just a small cactus farm just to get this going. It only takes 10 cactuses to do this. Now, when you're moving the cactus farm around, you select this. You can, you know, go for large, takes 30 cactuses, medium, whatever. I just want small as more like, you know, let's see if we can. And as you move it around, you'll see that there's fertility and crop yield. We're never going to get an environment that's not arid up here, but you can find a place that might have better fertility and yield uh, that you want to build it on. Like, you know, it looks like I had a 97 down here for, you know, some reason, but it's not level ground. So I think this, like, you know, 96% over here. Actually, I want to build it over here. I feel like there's less bandits. In this region, I could be wrong. 94% will be just fine for me. So I'm going to build that. Now, when you build this, though, you need some other things. So you need a well. Um, and this is really important where you build the well. You want to get as much water as you can. So you'll notice, like, you know, 50%, 40%. Now, you can prospect for water and try to find like a, a really good spot for it. But unfortunately, within this area, it's not ideal. I don't see anything tremendous, but that's okay. I'm just going to build one. 47? Great. Right there. Okay, uh, let's see here. Okay, I'm just going to say confirm. And they don't have any building materials, that's fine. Now, tutorial, dude. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go into your inventory. I'm going to tell tutorial, dude, to build um, this well. He can't build that, but you can build the farm. Where's the farm? Yeah, go over here and add all the cactuses at least to this. Okay, food store is done. So I'm going to finish adding these materials, of course. All right, all the 
cactuses appear to be added. So this just needs... No, it needs some more. There you go. All right. Um, so we finished the cactus farm, but it's not going to do anything until we can water it, which we can't until we finish this well, which just takes building materials, which is actually pretty easy. So uh, I'm going to go... I'm going to give uh, Rucka this stack of wraps and then i want you to put these in your backpack now other people should come get these but it's not clear if that's the case i'm going to go over here i'm going to interact with this and i'm going to dump in all of these as well as some food like this and hopefully people will eat that and at this point i could build another cactus farm but i'm not like you know super worried about it we have, we don't have a general storage. So it might be in, you know, something that we want to do is just build some kind of like, ah, it's hard to build general storage though because they want to be inside. Well, I could build a cactus storage, I guess. That's smart. Right next to my little farm. Put it over here. Confirm. Don't have any building materials, says tutorial dude. Um, what does this take? Yeah, we need some more building materials. We'll get there. What does this need? Iron plates? Ooh, we're so close. And so Kang is working on this, trying to make a plate. It's just going to take a while. All right. So then I'm going to take Tutorial Dude and just go back uh, home and just keep working on other stuff. And yep, you see people came over to the food store and they ate stuff. And we're going to see what happens. And there's a group of uh, animals coming through, but they're not fighting us, which is... They usually don't. Oh, cactus storage complete? Tutorial Dude, sorry, run back. He's pretty close. I guess they prioritize last in, first out. Alright, cool. Open up this. And just dump in all your cactuses. Great. So now we can use those later if we want. Is Kang up yet? Kang is not up. So Kang, what do you have in your inventory? Um, okay, I'm going to actually just put food in Kang's inventory from Tutorial Dude. I think this will work. Like that. I'm also going to give Kang this splint and this uh, advanced kit. And so, Kang, put all this in your backpack. And then Ato Soto... Rucka. Okay, Rucka has the sleeping bags. Give these to Tutorial Dude. Okay. And then, Tutorial Dude, we're going to build just some um, camp bed, just take sleeping bags. So, I'm going to build some beds, like, right by this, so people can pass out. And tutorial dude will finish this and finish this. And then, oh, the well is done. Okay, interesting. And so it should get water. What we might want to do then is set somebody. Um, all right, I have an idea. I'm going to take... Atto is working at the stone mine. I'm going to say, can you... It's kind of hard sometimes to find the farm. Uh, but let's see, it's mouse around here. Here we go. It's in here. We're going to operate machinery cactus farm. Just shift, right click that. And I'm going to say operate the well. I'm actually going to put the well above this and this. And see how that goes. I'm going to unpause it. All right, and so Atto's coming over to the well, and it should fill up with water. And it's not going to be easy, but it'll give us, like, a barrel of water, I believe. And then 
when that's done. Um, oh, he'll theoretically water the field, I think. Let's see. Um, now, Kang is still laying down because Kang is, like, seriously injured. So what... It, uh, Kang's in a recovery coma, um, and the stomach is, you know, negative 28. So it's going to take a bit. But if we put Kang in the bed, it'll go faster. So I'm going to right-click, pick up Kang, and then I'm just going to hold right-click, and I'm going to say put in bed, and then just drop Kang in the bed right there. Fantastic. Now, another thing is, if you want people to work faster at full efficiency, even at night, you need lights. So we can go to build, and we can build lighting where we just build like a torch post and it's real easy to build this. We could build electrical torch posts, but they take iron plates, which I'm less in keen on right now. So I'm going to go ahead and put a torch here. Um, a torch over here. And let's see, where else might people work? A torch right here, I think, and just confirm that. And they'll build those eventually. Now, tutorial dude, now you're good. You're done now. You've done your work. And we're going to go pause it and say, tutorial dude, go back to Squin. Close this up, unpause it. Torches are getting finished. Look, so now people have light and should be working more easily on this. Atto is doing this. And Chang is in the bed. Now, why is Raka down here doing this? Soto. Oh, right. Um, operate the refinery faster than you do that. Sorry. Oh, there's a bad guy there. Um, okay, that knocked us all out. This bone dog uh, just ripped us apart. So, have to... Uh... <laughs> Sometimes animals are actually scarier because they could try to eat you. Uh, which we don't want. But we'll be all right. All right. Tutorial dude, where you at? Okay. Almost home. I'm going to turn on tutorial dude's jobs. And then this should get us back in the business of raising our armor craft. So we're going to go up. And we're going to show the gear. And now let's make some money. Hire more people. Get more people up there. We need to farm. We need to make plates. Kang is up. That's cool. All right, let's check out Tutorial Dude and the quest for 40 armor smithing. Making a bunch of um, shoddy, but every once in a while standard, and that'll increase as we go. Go down, let's check this out. Yeah, there's 20 copper, that's awesome. I could take all these building materials back in case we were low on any. Build some stuff over at our base. Okay, stone processor 2 is done. So now we can actually make building materials and iron plates. Alright, so the well is actually... Um, that's interesting. I don't need... I don't need the well to be that filled. Uh, we'll go ahead and drop that down here. <laughs> and see what happens. And... Okay. Alright, look. The water... So what happens is they take the water out of the well, and then they put it on the farm. And then over time, it will output cactus for us. Alright, now Atto is going to be working on this... And we have some stone. Oh, and here it goes. Well. They're just patrolling, but they're not, like, actively attacking us. That was a merciful moment there. All right, let's see how we're doing. Look at this. We're making iron plates. This is how we're actually finishing stuff. 
we're getting everything done over at our base because we're making enough plates to do this. Now they're fighting us. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, get our people back online. And they're all going to get, you know, cleaned out. There's got to be food somewhere, they say. Let's see. Uh, all right, they didn't take Rucka's food, which is good. And the food's still here. Okay, so it looks like backpack and um, food storage is seemingly safe for now. But you really can't count on it. Like, sometimes things might not work out. And, you know, just got to be ready for it. Oh, Tutorial Dude is out here. Oh, because we have no cloth. Okay. So let's go get some. Let's go back inside. And manage this. We need to go buy some, some gear here. Our people are getting knocked out. As is to be expected. All right. And Tutorial Dude, we're going to be like, uh, go get all this copper good all right we got a decent amount of food let's go over here and just sell we'll have a browse and i'm going to sell you this this and this and i'm going to go upstairs and sell you the bandanas that i've got not many but some okay Okay, and then open this up again. Great. All right, and about nine ninety eight hundred, and we're going to go to the general store. Oh, let me take uh, let me take tutorials off of the jobs there. Oh boy. Here. Go down. Sorry. Hard to see. Talk to the guy. Show me. Pause. Alright. I need all that. You could buy water, of course, to water your fields, but we've got the well, so we're pretty much good. Yeah, I'm not really itching for anything else at the moment. I will go, however, see if you have food. I like to just have a ton of food. Because it's really annoying if you don't. This is very expensive, this much food. I can't even afford it all, but that's good. We'll go back to here. And turn on jobs. And there we go. Let's just check on Rucka here. What you doing? You playing dead? Yeah, she is playing dead. That's awesome. Alright, you can stop. And go fix everybody up. Yep, food's still in the backpack. Fixing people up. And check it, take a look at this. Look at Rucka's toughness. 20. Soto's 15. Atto's 18. And Kang is 27. Eventually, this beatdown is going to pay off. Alright. And let's check out our skills. 38 armor smith. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Just methodically churning them out. The bandanas. There's a standard. We say salut. We don't really say that. Also, see, notice like all his skills. But if you go to Sodo, Sodo has melee defense in addition to toughness, melee attack, right? Like Kang is, of course, sweet. But melee defense, this is just from getting beat up, right? So we're getting all of this stuff laboring too 
you know, everything's moving along beautifully. All right, and let's see here. Rucka, what you up to? Yep, working on the, uh, working on iron. We got 30 iron there. You can always, of course, just sell this stuff, too, if you, you know, want the cash. Uh, there is some water there. We're going to have to have somebody work on the well. Get a little bit more water. It unfortunately takes forever because, you know, here, Rucka, um, why don't you, do we only really have two sleeping bags? Yeah, we should get some more. Uh, why don't you uh, pick up Atto? Oh, you can't carry this one with one arm. Let me see your health. Yeah, your left arm is in bad shape. Okay. Uh, can you splint it with Kang's splint? Let me go over to Rucka, and then, um, let's see, can she, let me see if she can use this on herself. I'm going to turn off her jobs, and then, Rucka, can you, uh, yeah, the arm, you can see it's hanging lifeless at her side. Now, even though it's negative, um, it does heal, and then she'll be able to use her arm again. So she's trying her best, um, with a negative arm. All right, well, that's not going to help out. We're going to get the last laugh on them, though, eventually. Oh, tutorial dude's all done. Let me get tutorial dude back in town. How are we doing? Oh, we're so close to the next level. Well, first things first, I should tell Tutorial Dude to mine copper instead of what he is mining. Let me go to the uh, food barrel here. And we're going to just kind of kick in all of that. All of that. Wait. Uh, shift, that's right. Uh-huh. And then, oh, uh, you can have two. Good. All right, what else we got? Iron, uh, okay. And we're going to go through down here. Oh, boy. Yeah, I'll get him mining copper again. It's, it's just a better thing for us to get. It sells for more. Let's do business, pause it. Go upstairs, and let's sell. All right, okay, here, sure. Buy that, and that, and that, and then. There we go. Now, honestly, I don't think they had enough stuff to buy for us anyway. So all we need to do is just go tell Tutorial Dude. Um, we're going to turn on jobs again. But I'm going to take off uh, this job here. And I'm going to say, Tutorial Dude, why don't you instead um, go for this copper. And there he goes. And Ruka's here. And I'm going to put jobs back on. Atto's working. Atto, how are your arms? You look fine. Can you pick up Kang? And then set Kang in the bed. And then can you pick up Soto? And then set Soto in the bed. Speed up the old recovery process a little bit. Now Atto is the one that we actually wanted to be taking care of these crops. And you could see that the crops... Um, are growing 
and they right down here in the bottom left they're 46 percent the plant condition is a hundred percent there's 16 plants in there um and we could upgrade this to a medium cactus farm if we wanted for 10 more cactuses so we can do that whenever we want i am actually going to uh, boost the well over here so you know, Atto's going to come crank on this well. And it's a tedious process. We'll get somebody who's like a professional farmer who's constantly doing this. A 50% well is brutal. But what can you do? I can't remember how high this will go up to right here. All right, everybody's up. So all of our people are back to working. Yeah, we were. Let's see if they actually say here. Um, no, no upcoming events yet. All right. Give us some bleeding money, they say. All right, well... We're about to get some toughness points. Oh, there's two groups of people coming through. What are they working in tandem? You're telling me that these dust bandits and these hungry bandits. Oh. Well, that's a shame. But you'll notice they didn't take our food out of the storage or out of the backpack. So we are good to go. Working hard for the money. Now, ideally, it'd be amazing if we could get our own cloth, like grow our own cotton. But we're not going to be able to grow cotton in this climate. So we would need to make another base, um, you know, in a nicer biome that had the capability to have an, uh, the right temperature and moisture levels to actually grow cotton if we wanted to get it on our own. But another fun thing that we can do... All right, how much money do we have? If we have, you know, 7,700, is we could be going to other towns and buying up all of their fabric as well. So, you know, um, Admog has some... Uh, the... Oh, we don't have the outpost marked on our map yet. You know, we could go to the outpost and see what they've got, so. Let me see how it's going over here. 35 raw iron. Look at that, four iron plates. We're doing great. Now, is there anything else that we want to start getting over here now that we're, um, you know getting a bit stronger these things walls gates and then the crossbow that's in the future but we don't need it right now you know a house Things like that it could be cool, but we just don't need it right now. Just getting a ton of plates and materials is key. And also uh, getting enough money to hire some more people to send out there. Meow ate some dried meat. I mean, look at like people like Meow. And, you know, their laboring skill is ridiculous. Hot Long's already coming back. I'm going to take them off of Sneak for the time being. Look at their stealth, though, because of it. Like, their stealth is pretty reasonable.
as soon as the town opens up, as, the, as soon as the shops open, we will return and buy everything so we can get to level 40. And look. How's the well going? All right, we've got four barrels there. I am going to just manually um, put the well down below. And um, so you're telling me the cactus farm is good? It doesn't look good. There we go. 84%. I think it's worth upgrading it. And everybody will come over and do it. We have enough cactuses. You see we have so many cactuses here. Look at this. You can see them growing. It's awesome. Um, oh, this dust boss says die. Um, let's just talk about this peacefully. Um, we want your gear, your food, your money, everything. Give it to us. Okay, so this is a little bit worse. Um, three hundred cats is what they want. Um, I'll pay off three hundred cats. Um, even with all them big backpacks, they say, okay. So now they're getting a little bit smarter about our operation. Um, and say we could say five hundred. All right, fine, take it. And so we paid 500 cats, which is a blow, but um, they aren't hurting us. So we're getting a little bit of a sense of urgency here from the dust boss. Now let's see if that counted um, over here on faction. No. Now even if they came and they were going to like take all of our stuff. Hey, wait a minute. We just gave you money. Um... Okay, well then, at this point, it's all over. We just paid you. You can't just shake us down on, on the way back. Um, take him from me if you dare. So, you know. And they beat us up. All right, so they did knock us down, but they didn't take anything. They didn't even take the cactuses out of our inventory, um, and they didn't empty our food storage. So we're not going to pay cats anymore. I was wondering if maybe it would buy us a little bit of time, but it did not. And they came back immediately trying to get more, and so it's like, fine, you can just raise my toughness. You see, like, you know, with our toughness getting to be as high as it is, um, we take less damage and I feel like your, your KO point rises. You could see all of the benefits that we get from it. Like we just aren't knocked out, um, as much. And you see how quickly we got back up. So that feels pretty good. All right. Tutorial dude, the stores are open go over here. Go get it. Turn off your jobs. All right, fantastic. Okay, that's a lot of copper. Let's then run over to the general store. Now, I didn't have this issue when I made my base at first because I waited so much longer in my Let's Play to build the base. I have way more people, I have way more money going in. So I was able to hire mercenaries and do more work. But it took me a lot longer to grind and get to that point. Now you see we have 13,000. So I'm like more willing to um, just go faster for the sake of showing you base building and, and what it takes and everything that goes into it. But you could certainly take your time you don't have to rush into it at all but honestly this is fine what i'm going to do is actually go see if i can hire anybody for cheap over here some of these like randoms um rain the giant is awesome expensive 
and Reigns is like, you a warrior, one of the best, and um, Reigns in for, for 7,500, um, and I say deal, because Reigns cool. So Reigns strong, and we can send Reign over there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have uh, turn tutorial dude back on jobs, and then I'm going to tell Reign, you can check out Reign, by the way, Reign's got 20 melee attack, 20 melee defense, you know, good with all this kind of stuff. Um, comes with some equipment, so Rain is going to be even more muscle out there at our base for us. And Rain can, you know, just be a good laborer. So we're just building up this, like, insane Sheck army. Now, of course, we know Sheks do take more food than normal, but we're at a point where we're making enough money that we can get away with this. All right, I'm going to buy all this. I'm going to buy as much of this food as I can, too. Okay, and then I'm going to send rain over here. Yeah. Oh, I sent the wrong person. Rain, sorry. I had tutorial dude selected. And rain, I need you to go shopping. And we want to buy a backpack. Yeah, a wooden backpack is tremendous. And then just go here. Um, oh, I bought all that stuff with... Oh, no, rain put all the stuff away in the food storage. That's fine. How much is a backpack again? Oh gosh, I keep selecting the wrong person. Uh, Rain. Okay, go here. Show me what you got. And how much is one of these sleeping bags? 605? These are nice. We'll buy some more later. I'm okay with this, with what we've got. So now I'm just going to take Rain. Um, I'm going to give Rain the medic job. And then... I'm going to say, Rain, can you come over into our base and open up the food storage? And I need you to put, like, you know, a ton of food in your backpack here. That's pretty good. There you go. And I guess, Rain, while you're at it, might as well take all these building materials with you. And then, Rain, you are going to go over to our outpost. We're low on cash. I'm here to buy. No, sorry. I must have clicked the wrong thing. Anyway, uh, we're low on cash, of course, but it happens. And Tutorial Dude, did you get there yet? No, he's making fabric. Here we go. We're going to watch Tutorial Dude get that 40 armor smith and take us to the promised land. Once this happens, we will be making standard bandanas every time. Boom. And so now you see we're at 40. And when we are making, like all of these bandanas, standard shoddy shoddy. But if I go push T and I go to crafting and I say bandana, you'll see here that its predicted result is standard every single time. We have no crit chance because we have to skill up to get a chance to crit. But just the baseline of standard is amazing. We finished building the torch because Rain got there with the supplies. Uh, so Rain dropped off all the building supplies. And I'm going to tell Rain, uh, what are you doing? Are you making, what is Atto doing right now? Um, mining. Okay. So Rain, I want you to have the job of stone processor too. And if that's not working, you do stone mining. So now Rain has a job. Everybody's got a job. We're making plates. We're getting iron. How many plates do we have in storage? Look at that. It looks like, a, I mean, it's a good number, but you need so many that this is just a good start. All right, everybody. Well, look at this. I mean, we have our whole operation. You see all these cactuses that we're growing? This is fantastic. We got a well. We got a cactus farm. We are now building our own building materials and iron plates. We have a food storage here, um, which, you know, rain topped off. So we're just doing really, really nice. We have a new person, and we got 40 on armor crafting. So it just takes time, but as you pass this, you know, you're going to slowly be getting more money, and, you know, you just kind of wait to expand until you can afford to feed everyone. And I hope you're still enjoying the series and having fun with it. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. Take care.